Welcome. We are so happy you are interested in learning about how to support your loved one with autism. This video was developed to provide information to families of children who are eligible for special education services through their school in the category of autism. In this video, we will provide a short background about autism. We will then discuss important educational and medical information as well as provide some ideas and resources for next steps as the caregiver of an individual with autism. According to the Center for Disease Control, autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder that impacts the way the brain and the central nervous system develops. In 2021, the Center for Disease Control estimates the prevalence of autism as 1 in 54 children, with autism being more common in males than in females. Every individual with autism is unique, which is why it is called the autism spectrum. However, all people with autism have aspects of the following two characteristics. Differences with social skills and social communication, and some atypical behaviors called restricted and repetitive patterns of behavior. The social communication differences associated with autism can present in a variety of ways. For example, you may notice things like a lack of exchange of greeting, a difference in eye contact while speaking, or you may experience a conversation that feels off-topic or is challenging to follow. Some individuals with autism may have limited verbal language and instead may use pictures, sign language, or technology such as tablets to support their communication. Other individuals with autism develop strong language skills but may struggle with some social situations. Restricted and repetitive patterns of behavior can also present in a variety of ways. For instance, individuals with autism may have atypical motor movements, repetitive use of language, unusual or intense interests, and sensory differences that lead to different reactions to their environment. In addition, you may observe repetitive body movements such as rocking back and forth or hand flapping. Individuals with autism may repeat things that they have heard other people say. Examples include scripting a favorite movie or repeating a direction that is given to them. Some individuals with autism also have a preference for sameness and routine and have difficulty with changes to these routines. Finally, many people with autism have differences in their response to the environment around them. Some individuals with autism can be very sensitive to certain sights, sounds, taste, touch, and smell, and experience this sensory information as very unpleasant and uncomfortable. In addition, some individuals with autism can sometimes seek out sensory information in different ways, such as sniffing or closely looking at things in the environment. While individuals with autism can experience a variety of challenges, they also present with important areas of strength. For instance, many individuals with autism have a unique way of looking at the world and may have advanced ways of processing information. Their ability to establish and follow routines, observe details, and remember information can be an asset. And finally, individuals with autism tend to be very honest, kind, and likable people. As your child has been identified as eligible for special education services through your school district in the area of autism, it is important to understand some basic information about the educational system for students with disabilities. There are several important distinctions between educational eligibility and medical diagnosis of autism. School-based eligibility for autism means that the student has been evaluated by a school special education team and that they met state criteria for the special education category of autism. This is separate from a medical or clinical diagnosis of autism, which is often made by a clinical psychologist or physician at a medical clinic. Educational eligibility for autism does not automatically mean that a child will have a medical diagnosis of autism. Similarly, a medical diagnosis of autism does not automatically mean that the child will be found to be eligible to receive services for autism in school or would be provided school special education services. In fact, students with disabilities vary in the amount and types of school supports they may receive. Some students with autism may require special education services and receive specialized instruction in individual specific areas of need. Other students may only need accommodations and modifications provided in the regular classroom. Other students may not require any services or supports above that which are provided to the general population of students. 
If you have questions or are interested in pursuing disability services for your child at school, consider contacting your school district's board office, Department of Special Services, or school building principal. It is important for caregivers of individuals with autism to be aware of common medical concerns that can co-occur with autism. In fact, approximately 80% of people with autism will have another medical or psychiatric condition in addition to their autism in their lifetimes. Some of the most common health issues that co-occur with autism are anxiety, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, depression, gastrointestinal problems, sleep disturbances, and seizures. Given the potential medical needs of individuals with autism, it is recommended that you consider obtaining an autism medical physician. These doctors have expertise in caring for people with autism and can help determine if a child's behaviors or healthcare concerns are to be expected given the autism diagnosis, or if the child has another healthcare need, in which case, additional medical supports might be put in place to help the child feel better and improve daily functioning. Consider requesting a referral for an autism medical physician from your child's primary care doctor, educator, case manager, or contacting an autism center in your area for more information. In addition to services provided by your local public school, we also suggest that you explore other resources in your area. The Missouri Department of Mental Health has regional offices across the state. Many children may be eligible for case management services, and there may be opportunities for families to seek funding for services and needed referrals for outside programming. Additionally, parents can seek information from the Department of Mental Health on a variety of subjects. DMH provides case management services to support individuals with developmental disabilities and their families. They determine eligibility for services, and if eligible, they create a person-centered plan monitor services, and link families with appropriate resources. Examples of such resources include, but are not limited to, vocational services, residential services, specific therapies, and in-home services such as nursing and personal care attendance. For more information regarding school-based services and information, families can access the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, their website has updated information regarding special education requirements, services, and resources for families. Some families may be interested in getting support with navigating the special education system. The Missouri Parents Act can provide free support and training to families of children with disabilities. If your family is in need of comprehensive medical, behavioral, and or psychological services, Missouri has six autism centers around the state that may be able to meet your needs. The MU Thompson Center is an autism center of excellence in the state of Missouri and is a leader in providing pediatric care, research initiatives, training opportunities, and intervention services for children with autism. If you are seeking information and resources online, it may be challenging to identify what websites are legitimate. We have provided the following resources that families often utilize and recommend as they are navigating supports for their family. We hope that this information has been beneficial to you and your family. We always recommend consistent communication and collaboration between families and their school teams. Navigating the educational system and other resources for your child can at times be challenging. Your school team is here to help and support your needs. Thank you for joining us. For more information on autism and other training opportunities, go to the MU Thompson Center's website. We would like to thank the Steward Family Foundation for their contribution to support this training video.